Yes, if I eat a lot of chocolate? Me? Yeah. I uh, a lot, yeah. A lot. I'm addicted. If I leave for vacation and uh, I don't bring chocolate, my wife has to go and buy some wine sometimes very quickly before I... <laughs> before I begin. Uh, it happens, yeah. <laughs> yeah. To eat good chocolate. But it's a, uh, you know, it's, it's a good, it's a good, it's an important question because uh, when we speak about compound again and we speak about chocolate, uh, the cocoa butter is not cholesteric. Compound inside, you have compound, it's, it's important compound, it's a good market, but you have some fat, a bit less healthy than, than the cocoa butter. But cocoa butter is expensive for, you see, the complexity, the, the rarity and everything, but because also it's a product which is, uh, at the end, it's a product which is more healthy. Uh, that's why I, in the next session I will cook with, uh, with cocoa butter, so it's one of the things I've developed also. And it was, uh, I can tell you, uh, uh, this was the same, you know, cooking with cocoa butter at the beginning was something completely crazy, but it's, uh, they all have some friends, they have some schools, at the beginning they were not believing in it, and now they give courses, cooking with cocoa butter, and uh, housewives are coming and uh, they, are, they are selling like hell. We are selling like hell because you put three to five times less fat than, uh, than uh, a normal fat. It's not cholesterolic. You can mix. You have different techniques you can use. It's amazing. And uh, in Canada, uh, some, they sell in, in retail. Now. And there, there is a guy in Canada now. You enter in a, in a restaurant. You open the cart. You know, uh, you see the menu. menu. And uh, and uh, the first page you have uh, the micro container. <laughs> The guy, he does everything with cocoa butter. He cooks everything. He gives courses after, after, after the, 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 the service, after the lunch. And he gives courses the afternoon to the ladies and everything. Unbelievable. OK, but uh, I will speak more in detail about uh, cocoa butter, how to cook. It, it lasts one hour. But it's, uh, I think it's a completely uh, different story. But it's very interesting. So what are we doing? Doesn't matter. Not for me, huh? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I don't eat at night before I'm going to sleep. That's a chocolate. <laughs> yeah, you can put a bit more. Okay. That's important uh, when you eat it. Uh, well, why is it the day? So. So here it sets very fast. <laughs> right? And you can. You can make, you know, for Easter. You can make. Okay. Internet. Okay. So this is this is a basic technique. This is one of the basic things you can do with. I work on, on one which is uh, a bit, uh, I need the marble a little bit more complicated. I need the marble a little bit less cool for that. I will show you another one until it's cooling down a little bit. Okay. So you can also make some things very thin. So here, never make any straight line, only around all the time, okay? And you take, you can play it with your voice. Okay? You can make very few more. Okay. So it's, it's very elegant, it's very nice. Okay? 
can make things like this. All right? After I make a more complicated um, process for this, this is a bit more tricky, but it's very interesting. If you, have a, if you have longer marble, you can make, you know, and after you can hold on hold on powder like right? that. Means. Try to make another one. The more you roll round, but this is a big short one, but I have a big one at, at home, and you can make, uh, you can roll. Difficulty, it needs to cool down almost at the same speed. That's why you need to. Uh, quick. Yeah, to be a bit quick. on the top, okay, like this. For a plate of dessert, you can huh? can do a mix. All right. So this is different ideas around. Uh, after you can even uh, something very simple. Huh? You can even uh, uh, take a spatula, or a scraper, uh, and uh, just put some like this, and you just feel it. Put it flat like this. You know? When it's set. So you can uh, you can also uh, wrap a cake. You can make many things. Huh? Many things. It gives you an idea. So once again, this needs to be crystallized. Chocolate mode. Yes. One. Uh, yes. In a few minutes. Yeah. Yeah. We can show the chocolate mode. Yes. Yeah, nice. If it's you check if it's uh, okay. I think it should be okay. Huh? We have with a sieve a bit. I will show you how to use this also, which is interesting. Thank you. Thank you. 
Okay, I'll take this one. It's okay, thank you. Thank you. Can you bring the cake? Yeah. 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 So what you can do, uh, you know, uh, you can put some uh, after well. You take the photo after we can show you. You just just some uh, making like, like this a lattice on, on a plastic, and you have something very shiny. If you make it very thin already, it's nice. Right? You don't need to, uh, you know, can be. Uh, I won't add because I don't want to add too much here. But you know, it can be. Uh, it can be really, really uh, the shininess and the fineness. You can use it for many things. Huh? Okay. Thank you very much for for the time. Uh, if you have any question, we, yes. We're going to start the next shift. We're going to have half an hour break and we get straight back into it. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much and see you in 30 minutes. <laughs> Thank you. 
From savory and uh, from sweet to savory. Okay, uh, it's another story, completely different story. But this is uh, from the three, uh, also apart from the three uh, uh, innovation from around the micro uh, to cocoa butter. As I told you, the fats uh, was uh, was not explored and analyzed uh, sufficiently. Uh, so uh, once I tried to cook the steak, uh, I asked uh, for the first time, I asked a specialist. In Barry Carbot of cocoa butter, we have some specialists of cocoa butter. What is the burning point of the cocoa butter? And they told me, we don't know because when we make conching and when we make chocolates, we know it holds more than enough. Right? We, we, we conch maximum at 80 degrees, so uh, the cocoa butter lives very well with that. So we had to inquire and to make a, a test, and uh, we pay a lab to. Uh, find out what was the burning point of the cocoa butter, and it, it, it came out that uh, the cocoa butter has a very high burning point, more than 200 degrees, so perfect for cooking. So uh, it was uh, uh, something, something really new, and we, after that, so we tried to send it, and, to, and we sent it to different chefs to test, and they found it amazing. Why? why, why? Because actually, uh, it's a fat that uh, is in powder, so it's the only fat in powder you can have in the business. Uh, this means that you can, for only from the shape already, you can find many different applications that you cannot do with your own fat. I will come back. For example, in when in, in kitchen in cooking, you can you can make some crust, you know, with bread crumbs. You mix uh, soft with butter with bread crumbs and some uh, aromatic garniture, you know, things like this. Uh, here, you just have to mix, you know, uh, one third of micro, two third of breadcrumbs. You just, you just put on, on the product. I use, for example, I do it with tuna, okay? I put some olives, some uh, herbs, some uh, anet or things like this inside, salt and paper. You mix it, you put it on, it's very easy, it's like a powder. Instead of uh, spreading, you know, with softened butter and everything, which is a, a bit of hassle. And you put it at uh, the salamander. Uh, you go salamander, yeah? you put the salamander, it makes a perfect crust. It's very nice, very easy. So this is, a, this is one of the applications you can do with salamander. But also, uh, what, what was nice is that you control the fat very much that you put on it. For example, I take an example. So what was the point cooking with this fat precisely? Okay, and what did the chef like very much after by using this fat? Uh, I have lots of friends in Paris, you know. Uh, now, uh, we are chef in very big uh, three-star Michelin and places and Georges V and everything. I say I love it very much uh, because it gives a taste of the product. For example, if I cook a meat with this, I will have exclusively the taste of the meat. If I cook a fish with that, I will have exclusively the taste of the fish, okay? If I cook a vegetable, you know, when you make a different mix of vegetables, each vegetable will have its taste. If you cook with oil, it will get the taste of the oil. If you cook with butter, it will get taste of butter. It doesn't mean you stop using butter or oil. It means it's complementary and there is a logic. Uh, you cook, you can cook, for example, with uh, the micro, the steak, all right? And after you add some fresh butter on it, on top, the butter is not cooked, it's much healthier. You have used much less fat, and the taste of the butter <coughs> melting on the hot steak will be much better. Okay? With an olive oil, for example, you can cook also a fish with uh, uh, the, the micro, okay? And after you put some uh, very nice quality olive oil, but you put less, but you can buy a, a more expensive one. And it means that the olive oil will be enhanced, purely. Because an olive oil, when you cook, uh, over 110, 120, it's beginning to lose the good taste and all the properties. So there is a kind you know, of logic and by using these, these kind of things. 
and there is also the control of it. One thing is very important is also uh, when you cook fragile things. You cook, uh, we say in French, uh, riz veau, uh, with, uh, from veal, very fragile things from the veal. Or, for example, I was speaking with, uh, you know, Yannick Aleno, maybe, which is a three star Michelin at Maurice, now the, one of the biggest chefs in France. He told me your product is amazing for, uh, you know, the little red fish. We call them rouget. You know, it's a fish which has a skin very thin, very fragile. Okay? So the challenge is always cooking the fish and keeping the skin intact, which is almost never happening with different fats. And as when you take, for example, a product, so you put it inside the microbial, okay, you see it's covering the, the, the product and, it, on every, and you don't have a lot of fat, actually. But each millimeter is covered. And that's a good thing because it makes, it will make a, a, a color everywhere that will be stunning. Okay? What you can do also, you can put uh, the, some spices on it, and the spices won't slide. Here I put some coriander, for example, okay? And the coriander will stay at the place huh, where I should have put it before, but it's better to put it before, and after you put the micro, and it will stay at the place where it is. It doesn't slide. So it means we have a dispatch of the spices, which is perfect. With the other fat, it has a tend to, to slide and to go in a saucepan. Okay, so you see lots of advantage to, to that, all right? One of the other advantage I will show you, I will make with you, is also that uh, we make a sauce hollandaise. Sauce hollandaise is uh, well, the most light sauce that you can have. I like it very much. I make a, a little change with the sauce hollandaise as a pastry chef. I, I began as a cook chef at the beginning, but I turned to pastry chef after. But still, I, I have some bait. And uh, I, I add some, uh, instead of the lemon, I've added some uh, passion fruit juice inside. Okay, so you have a lemon sauce, and you can even add a hint of some seeds of, of vanilla eventually. That would be nice inside. But this is for the recipe. But uh, a sauce hollandaise, you have uh, also when you're, you make culinary school, uh, you know you learn different sauces. You have a stable sauce. You have unstable emulsion. Sauce hollandaise is an unsta unstable emulsion because when you make it. It lasts the service and you cannot keep it after. It has a tend to destabilize, okay? Because it's, uh, it's an emulsion of uh, eggs, a uh, kind of sabayon, where you add some uh, uh, clarified butter inside, okay? And with the at the end also, it will stabilize the sauce much more. So it will give also a nice taste, but stabilize the sauce. So lots of different options like this with the macrio, which are amazing. Huh? So I will cook a steak just to show you. Uh, just to show you what's the, uh, what's the, uh, the advantage of it, huh? we will. Uh, so you have to take a, a non stick pan. Okay. So, the advantage, you know, a uh, challenge of cooking also is that you seal, you know, inside all the, the, the suck of the, of the product, okay? All the, the nice juice of the product is a challenge. That's why you size, you size the product. If you don't, all the product will come out. So you make a crust, you uh, stress a bit the meat, and after you leave it relaxed, uh, but everything stay inside if you size it. Huh? Okay. And the advantage of that, every millimeter is covered, so it means when you cook it, you have you have a, a, a reaction which is happening on every millimeter of the, of the product. And this is uh, very important. <coughs> you go down from the place. Okay. See? Ah, you see the... So of course uh, you don't pick uh, with a fork or something uh, to avoid to, to break the crust you, you are making. Okay, uh, that's important. Thank you, thank you very much. And you will see the color. Coloration is very nice, it's amazing. It's also a challenge, uh, also when you, you have a great, great color. When you
this is the amount of fat I have put on, nothing, huh, basically. Huh? And it's, uh, so three to five times less fat. Of course, it has a price. It's more expensive than one oil. Huh? But it's, uh, so for the vegetable, for example, and for the, this product, as it's, it's sitting so well on the product that you gain weight at the end. Uh, there are some big catering companies in France. They made some studies. For example, for the mushrooms, when you cook the mushrooms, you have water coming out, and at the end here, you gain weight at the end because it's sitting so well that when you cook, you have a nice result at the end. Huh? Look at the color, you see? Huh? Do you eat the meat uh, a bit reddish, red, medium rare? Yeah. Well, won't shock anyone if I saw. Some countries are... Uh, no. Oh, it's red. It's <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>, nice. <laughs> this is the color, huh? You have a great meat now in South Africa. Great for us. Congrats. So you will see after, you can come after, you, you can be able to see, you will see the little dots of the spice. They stay evenly where it was at the beginning, which is very nice because when you eat, you have the experience, you know it's, uh, it's different. Huh? the color is so just amazing. Black and white but <laughs> <laughs> How it's coloring and everything. Sorry? Yes, I will just remove this if you can just yeah, one more time. I will stop off this. And I will, I will make the sauce first and after I will put the. the I will put the. For example, when you have a, most of you, you do catering or you do uh, uh, tarts for shops or things like this. When uh, you take out the tarts from the oven, okay, you can just sieve the micro you put the tart shell, you know, uh, empty. You sieve some micro inside the tart shell while it's hot. It will make a film as it is auto-insulating, okay, it's insulating. It means when you put the cream after inside uh, anything, any fillings, it won't soak the, the dough. It will stay crunchy longer because it will protect uh, uh, very much uh, from the top. Okay, so it's so convenient, you know. Uh, okay, uh, well, I will use. Uh, I will make the. I will make. Uh, yeah, this one first. Ah, okay, great. Thank you. Uh, okay, so. Bernays, uh, Bernays, Hollandaise, it's a little sister from Bernays. So, you uh, egg yolks, all right, inside. Thank you. It's 
So it's a, it's a kind of uh, emulsion. Huh? Passion fruit, you have the recipe with you, huh? Okay? No? David? David prepared that, I guess. He's over there, but uh, okay, we'll ask him. Passion fruit, water, a little bit of water. Okay. 125 uh, grams of butter clarified, okay? And I will whip this and emulsify at the same time. So here you don't go too hot. Yeah. This is a, a bit long. That's why I stopped cooking. Because I'm too lazy for that. Okay, recipe, right? So here, basically, you, you just uh, just check. You can still leave your hand in most time. Huh? You don't uh, you don't cook too fast, huh? and you don't want to. Uh, Always check. When you see the steam coming out, you, you, you remove it. You see the steam is coming out. You, you cool a little bit. And you continue mixing, yeah? It's taking shape, you know, it's taking this. You see, huh? it's, uh, it's becoming thicker and thicker. You will see there is a stage where it will. Really it will take a strength. Huh? Become thicker and take a strength. Some people do it at the memory, yeah, of course. Yeah, as a chocolatier, I don't like the memory. Okay. I ban the memory. It's a lot of work, but it's worth it. Huh? <laughs> so we invite some friends. That's why it's the most moussey uh, sauce you can have in cooking. Hot sauce.
Oh, there was a very small amount, but you see, huh, already it's getting taken shape. Actually, uh, you see, it doesn't, you know, it's uh, stop. Yeah, it's, it's less liquid. It's taking, becoming thick. Huh? It's a stage where. Okay, so you see the thickness now. All right, I will stop. Yes, keep it in warm, and you can add a small uh, fillet like this huh? to me. And I will emission. Now it's like a hot mayonnaise, actually. Huh? You can put a little bit faster. So it's clarified better, huh? okay? We we have clarified the butter. That's good. Thank you. Okay. See the emission. Okay. So here now I have a kind of fragile em emission here. I add some micro inside, okay? Just to stabilize it. Yeah. And it's giving even more strength. So it's, uh, it's really uh, impressive the effect. It's uh, strengthening the sauce. Make something. There is a big change huh, when I had the micro inside. Huh? 25 bits. Uh, Pepper, salt. <laughs> I don't have my glasses, but still, uh, I can see a little bit. Huh? Can tell you. Little spoon? You can take a big one, huh? It's okay. Thank you. Have you taste, huh? Of course, season is very important. the difference very nice okay so the acidity with a uh, with the passion fruit is just amazing it's giving a kind of uh, floral test with the eggs and everything it's very nice and the micro is giving a freshness even if it's hot you know, the melting point is, 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 is changing. Okay, I can put on something that won't cool too fast. Um, paper, paper. I will use some, uh, yeah, or some paper. Look, I will put on the table. Just to insulate it. Yeah, after at the end, at the end we will make a, yes? Yeah, you can taste it. I will keep a little bit then uh, here. 
Yeah, I will make the scallops and after we can taste that. Huh? Put this here. I want to keep it warm a little bit. Okay, so scallops, just a uh, uh, little trick, uh, if you use a frozen one, if you don't find, you leave them defrost uh, all night in milk, okay? So the milk will avoid, you know, they, they become, uh, they empty themselves from, uh, right? So in this case here, we will sprinkle the micro on the top. Or well, you can roll it, or you can sprinkle. Right? You can do both, right? as you wish. Huh? Me, I like sprinkling because it's nice. Uh, even uh, okay. Okay, great. Thank you. I did this once in Japan for, you know, they have teppanyaki, you know, teppanyaki, it's a big plate, you know, like plancha they have, it's amazing. Because when your customer around teppanyaki, they cook with oil and you come with your, <laughs> so they put for you a big thing, but it's still useful. And one of the great things they liked is that uh, you don't have any splashes that you have with lots of oil and everything. So, you know, there's a cook chef all burn here and everything, finished. Same, huh? We say a little bit. Just add on the top, when you turn it upside down after, on the other side, you see, uh, very few. Thank you. color a bit more Just at the end, 
you just add a little bit like this, very thin, and it's made like shiny, no? You know, you don't have to take a brush and put it on the top, and you have a great result. The product is shiny on the top, well cooked. And you have, do we see the texture of the sauce? You see? And of the Bernays, you can put them in the middle like this. Ah, you have a great, uh, great texture. After, uh, I made the sauce. One, one, uh, one red sauce for that, huh, which is, uh, which is somewhere here, okay. Yeah. This is uh, just for the story, huh? just uh, because we will uh, taste the wine after. Um, thank you. So for that, I just, I just cook some onions and, uh, and uh, I put a half a liter of, uh, of wine and I make it reduce, okay. And after I put some beer. You can put some mikrio at the end to make it shiny, but uh, nothing uh, mandatory here. To stabilize it a little bit. That's it. Instead of putting butter, you know, at the end, you make this. And we can serve it. But I won't, I won't make it on the top because, you know, you can see the colon and you can take some photos. We can make taste this if you want. And you have some with little spoons. Voilà, that's it for, for today. Uh, have a good tasting, and uh, I hope to see you after for the session of tasting with wine and, and little things. Thank you very much. Thank you. you can take photos. Can Does anybody have any questions for Chef before? Any questions for Chef? You can take him home. <laughs> Jeff, do you want to go home to the last gentleman? Uh, we have to make a planning here, haven't we? Probably wouldn't be better if you were at home. It's called auction. It's called auction. Tracy. Yeah, okay. Guys, we can have a. Yes, sorry, question. Yes, yes. Um, it's not a matter of the matter of the ability of one person's health. Yeah, I'll um, take this. Is it something that sometimes runs out? Sure. From a stock point of view, no. Yes. We, 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 we're taking care of that angle. So as long as we don't have any production issues on our side, the ordering of the product is available uh, as a permanent line in South Africa. So it shouldn't be an issue. One of the things that we are going to be doing with Matrado is pushing it a, a little bit stronger so we will get a reminders out into the trade because it's a fantastic product. As you can see, it's been used to so many aspects. I always look at it personally and I say it's the closest thing of making a curvature chocolate to conquer because it is that easy to temper chocolate. Chocolate, mushroom, and then you've got to make a conga uh, without having to do all, all the methods. So I think it's going to be something that we will definitely push stronger and harder because everybody that we've spoken to about the product has loved it and they've started using it. I think a lot of people just haven't known it's here. So I think that's something that we will push. So good question, and yeah, it will be available inside the Man. And what shelf life does it have to close and open? The shelf life of that product? Of the Micrio itself? Yeah. We have to put the shelf life ourselves by law. But Micrio is... It doesn't... Uh, cocoa butter, if it stays at 17 degrees... You know, it's a fat... It's a good question because I didn't say... I didn't speak about this. It's a fat that doesn't get ranced. So that's also one of the big advantages. It's really a noble fat, actually. Huh? You see lots of, lots of advantages. It doesn't get ranced. So uh, from from this uh, from this point of view, you know, uh, chef life here is uh, 18 months or, or, or two years. But I should not say that. But uh, between me and you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I guess storage is a, it's you know, if it's well storage, if it's not open with uh, over smells, because obviously as a fat, it takes the smells of what is around. 
So storage, stored with uh, chocolate things and everything. It's a, it's an, a product that can hold. It's very simple. You know, I was I was talking with uh, uh, someone which is uh, in Baricabo when I arrived in Baricabo, uh, one of R&D manager. He had 20 years of R&D, uh, a huge experience in chocolate, and and we were talking about chef life in, in dark chocolate. Told me we made some tests. Uh, Five years of uh, dark chocolate, uh, you know, in a bag, close. You know, uh, it's. Uh, I don't advise to do that, but I mean, it's. Uh, it's something which is the so dark chocolate is is, uh, is is really something with the cocoa butter that uh, if it's sealed, uh, you know, it doesn't get old and doesn't. After when you have uh, white chocolate, milk chocolate with uh, 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 what do we say? Uh, milk powder, of course, it's another story. Milk powder get rinsed. So the product is much more fragile. Huh? And the product is, uh, actually to, to make you understand the product is the cocoa mass when we don't have sugar. You know, before doing chocolate, we have cocoa mass. Cocoa mass is beans crushed, okay? Uh, we have, we can heat 80 degrees. It's not a problem. You add some sugar inside, we can put only at 50 degrees. It's what you add inside that make it more fragile or sensitive. You add, uh, you add uh, milk powder, you can eat only at 45 degrees max, you know, and it burns fast. So, you understand the, the product at the beginning, the cacao on its, itself, is not fragile. And that's, that's why, you know, with this and everything, you know, cocoa butter, me, I, I, I work on the cocoa butter because when I was younger, one day I put uh, the cocoa butter to melt in a, in a bain-marie, and the bain-marie was, bo was boiling. I was working with a very big chef, and the Marie was boiling. He said, oh, look at the Marie, it's boiling. You will burn the cocoa butter. Okay. <laughs> I checked the cocoa butter. It was nice. <laughs> it was fine. But, you know, I didn't discuss because I was very... <laughs> <laughs> but at the end, it stayed, you know, in, 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 in one, one part of my mind thing. Okay. Something blurred with the cocoa butter. You know, and it's, there was a knowledge that was not uh, explained. So, you know, people were focusing on chocolate, focusing on many things, and, and the cocoa butter is is, a, is a, a, a crucial part of the chocolate because uh, that's the chocolate is nice because of the cocoa butter. Chocolate is, has this all lots of properties because of the cocoa butter. And that's why I inquire a lot on the cocoa butter and everything. And we found lots of techniques after that because uh, no one did it uh, really before so deeply, actually, in these techniques, at least. Okay. Any more questions? Jeff from ASA, thank you very much. Um, thank you very much. Yeah, I want to thank you. really uh, Minette, without who uh, I would not do uh, so well and all these things. She's been great. Really, it's great support and passionate. Though. So it was very nice uh, working uh, with Minette. Uh, and thank you very much for your interest, for taking the time. We appreciate a lot also that you take the time to come and see us and, uh, and uh, you, you have the passion also and you're interested in it. So we will definitely come back and make more things. Uh, there are lots of things in the plans. Uh, David is your port of contact with the buyers and, and Bitvest. Uh, thank you very much and uh, I hope to see you for the tasting session and uh, we can have a glass. <laughs>